Awesome! There it is! Ya ku shi ma Wow, so many tropical plants. Huh. Take a look at that one. <sighs> mm. Um... It's totally amazing, huh? Man, this is so awesome! I'm not even kidding! Junpei-kun. <sighs> wow! It's like we're in an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Fabulous. Welcome, Welcome back, back milady. We won't be here long, but I'll be relying on you during our stay. You have maids? And you must be her schoolmates, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo Vacation Home. Please, follow me. Um, is this the right place? Dude, real life maids. I knew she was from an important family, but this definitely confirms it. Hmm. It's good to see you. Oh, he left. Was that... her father? Dude, talk about scary. He's not gonna make us walk the plank, is he? Don't be stupid. <laughs> we won't be here long, but make yourself at home. Sweet, this is gonna rock. Hey, you wanna go to the beach? It's right there. Dude, this place rules. Come on, let's go. What, already? I mean, sure, but let me get changed first. <laughs> then I'll see you there. I'm not going to waste a single minute. Ah, got my sandals on, giving my feet a chance to breathe. Yep, summer's here. Darn, there's nothing out there I can use as a marker. Too bad, I was hoping for a good swim. What's with that swimsuit? What about it? Dude, Speedos? <laughs> that tight fit's nasty, man. But they're better for swimming. You must be joking. We come all the way to the beach and you're gonna train? What's wrong with that? You got a better idea? Damn right I do. It's summertime at the beach. I've got the perfect activity. Oh, hey, they're here. What? Say hello to contestant number one, Yukari Takaba. As you can see, she's chosen a bold design, quite unexpected. It takes a lot of confidence to pull off a swimsuit like that. Is that umbrella taken? Oh, and here we have the lovely Miss Yamagishi. Wow, Fuka, I had no idea you were so... I mean, you should wear a swimsuit more often. Huh? Oh! Oh, come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> Creepy laugh, you perv. And here's our final contestant. Hmm? Is something wrong? Wow. Mitsura Senpai, you're beautiful. Yeah, your skin is flawless. Did you already put on sunscreen? No, not yet. So, which one's your type? Yeah, like, I believe that. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. How about a swim? ba 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 ba, -ba Charge! Whoa, I'm not letting you win that easy. Woo! It's cold! <laughs>
It's been a while. I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again. None of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Corrigio family separated from the Nanjo group. Hmm. You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. Yes, Father. You accessed our database, didn't you? That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? I'm... I'm sorry. Bring them here. All of them. I had no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. Everything? There's a girl named Takaba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Oh, yes. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. That's what he was trying to do? Imagine, if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth. And it's my duty to tell you. What's this? This is the only existing footage of the accident. Recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. A video recording? I pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That voice! My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. And this experiment should have never even been conceived. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. But if I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. The entire world? Please, listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. And so I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. Huh? You mean... that was... Father. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time. A very talented man. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. I... I can't believe it. So, that means... My dad caused it all? The Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident? It was all his fault? Uh, you okay? So that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, Takiba, I... I don't want your pity! 
Takeba! Uh. Um, shouldn't someone go after her? <sighs> Please, go after her. Thank you. I believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much. Remember what I told you at the hospital? How my dad died when I was little? You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. Yeah. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared, but I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. But it turns out, all of that was for nothing. <laughs> You're just trying to make me feel better. Why does reality have to be so harsh? I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. I mean, why my father and not hers? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Huh, well you're just Mr. Perfect. Nothing ever phases you. And now you've got the nerve to try and tell me how to feel? Stop acting like you have all the answers. You don't know anything! I'm sorry. My head's a mess. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. Tell me. What should I do? You mean... Keep believing? You know... You really are one of a kind. Oh, I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents too. But I'm all right now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Anyway, thanks for listening. Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? Ooh, you're such a gentleman. <laughs> Thanks. Hey! <sighs> Sheesh! What's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. It's almost... The dark hour, so you should get back. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. Hmm? Um, did I miss something? I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. Sheesh, it's just common sense. Even I remembered. You know, I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. It's like trading away your innocence. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? Yep. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. The air 
are so fresh. I never thought a walk in the woods could be so enjoyable. You can't do this in Iwatodai. <sighs> oh, so listen to this. Junpei was acting like such a pervert yesterday, and I didn't know how to react. It's probably a good thing we came out here by ourselves. Huh? Oh, yeah. Mitsuru speaking. One moment, let me switch over to speakerphone. Please continue. Well, I'm at the lab here on the island. And a machine that was considered inoperable suddenly left the facility on its own. A machine? What kind of machine is it? I need detailed information to locate anything other than shadows. It's a combat vehicle, an anti-shadow weapon to be precise. A combat vehicle? You mean like a tank? We gotta let the others know. Where's my cell? We're not currently with the others, so it might take some time for us all to assemble. I see. Well, regardless, I want you to handle this as soon as possible. I'm on my way there now. If the target cannot be captured, do we have permission to destroy it? <laughs> I highly doubt you'll be able to destroy it. What? Then how are we supposed to stop it? Just do your best. I'll call you again later. Great. No one's answering. Don't worry about it. Let's go back and get our equipment. Then we can have Yamagishi's persona scan the area. Although this island is quite large. Jeez, where could they be? Huh? Are the girls not up yet? Man, what lazy bones. The ocean's not gonna sit around and wait for us, you know? You're right. Once the sun sets, the water temperature drops, tiring you out much faster. Huh? Uh, I guess. Is that what you're worried about? That reminds me. One of the maids gave me a letter as we were leaving. Well, hey, Junpei! Ah, no buts! I ain't letting any love letters from a lovely maid slip through my fingers. Ah, oh, how dumb can you get? Ah, let's see here. This says we've gone to see the Joman cedar tree. Huh? It looks like Fuka's handwriting. Oh, man. We're at an island resort in the middle of summer. Why don't they go to the beach? That's just not right. Well, it is your fault. What do you mean? I, I just wanted to lighten up the mood. I don't want to hear it. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. We're on our own now. Just the guys. If you're out of ammo, you pick it up on the battlefield. That's one of the most basic military tactics. We'll call this Operation Babe Hunt. Babe Hunt? You mean like, pick up girls? What do you think, Akihiko-san? With you on the squad, we're guaranteed to succeed. What do you think about this? Then I'm appointing him our leader as usual. What? Why? You said yourself this is an operation. Aw, oh, man, that's bullshit! You better take this seriously. It's an important operation.
toss the sky. Feeling no pressure, but I peers in the media. Getting jiggy with the gun bomb, please, I'm telling ya. Anywhere you be, from New York to Savoia. Cut up in your own beat and shake it every day. I'ma put it down, grabbing this ground. Lay your dollars on the ground, gonna double up now. Six to five to four to three, two, one more time. Heavy punch line about to bruise. wrong. I thought you weren't interested in picking up chicks. If I'm in a match, I want to win. <sighs> I know what our problem is. You can't control yourself. What? Don't blame this on me. I'm just stating the obvious. But, but you haven't scored either. Why do you always got to be so logical, even in front of babes? It doesn't make any sense. What did you just say? Enough already. Later, whose fault do you think it is? 
I won't accept a stalemate. It's either him or me. Yeah! This is serious. Now tell us uh, who's... Huh. What's the matter? You see something? Talk about saving the best for last. Now that's what I'm talking about. Man, she's cute. I agree. This is our last chance to make up for failures. But this time we should try one by one instead of all together. We'll have a better shot that way. Sounds like a good plan. All right, then let's decide the order. We'll go clockwise, starting with the winner. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. I win! Okay, I'll go first. Akihiko san will go second, and you'll go last. I'm up! Wish me luck! Hey, how's it going? I noticed you've been uh, staring at the ocean. So, um. Do you come here often? My name's J J J Junpei. J J Junpei? Oh, don't worry, I. I just want to talk. I mean, I mean, it's more fun than standing here all by yourself, isn't it? I am looking for a human. Uh, oh, yeah? You are not the one. Wow, he got shot down faster than I expected. <sighs> She's a tough one, senpai. <laughs> Don't worry about me. Hello there. Say, uh, do you like the ocean? Is your question directed at me? Oh, um, uh, yeah. I, I like the ocean too. Hey, I heard that triathletes who train at the beach perform better than those who practice indoors. Makes sense, doesn't it? That type of information is irrelevant to me. <laughs> I won. I talked to her longer than you did. It doesn't matter how long you talk to her. <sighs> Ugh, this sucks. <laughs> hey, stop crying. You're making me feel bad. So, that's our status. If you can't pull this off, I'm gonna be traumatized for the rest of my life. We're on the ropes, but it's not over yet. It's all up to you now. hear what he said but she looks surprised we should go over there initiating evasive maneuver confirmation must be made at a secure location hey what did you say to make her run away like that well, what are you waiting for go after her go tell her you're sorry if you don't, we'll all be in trouble. Go on, man. You can catch her if you hurry. Searching for you. My highest priority is to be with you. What? I can't believe this! What's going on? He didn't even say anything to her. There you guys are. What are you doing here? We've been looking all over for you. 
Um, what are you doing in the middle of the woods in your swimsuits? You have no idea what we've... Huh? Who's this? And why is she hugging you? Listen, we've encountered a problem. I'm sorry to interrupt your vacation, but I need you all to go back to the house and prepare for battle. That won't be necessary. We found what we were looking for. What do you mean? Oh, you had me worried. You don't have permission to leave the lab on your own, I guess. I know. I apologize for all the trouble. Everything is under control now. So, what happened to capturing the tank? Oh, that's been taken care of. Come here, I guess. Coming. This is Igis. As you can see, she's a mechanical maiden. I am Igis. My mission is to destroy shadows. I have been assigned to seize, effective immediately. <sighs> no way! It's like she's... alive. This is unbelievable. She's so cute, but she's a robot. Anti-shadow weapons were created 10 years ago to combat uncontrollable shadows. Igust was the last to be made, and she's the only one that still remains today. An anti-shadow weapon? Does that mean she... Yes. I am capable of operating the persona Palladian. She suffered major damage in combat and has remained in the lab ever since. It's still unclear as to why she suddenly reactivated herself this morning. Well, I hope you will all get along. An anti-shadow weapon with a will of her own? This is amazing! Um, by the way, when we first saw you, you were hugging him, right? Do you know him? Yes, it is very important for me to be by his side. Hmm, perhaps her identification system is malfunctioning. Or maybe she's still half asleep. This is quite interesting. Hmm. I don't think it's that. Well, I can ponder this later. Oh, I forgot to tell you all. You can participate in a wide range of recreational activities here. There's a tennis court, a pool table, even a karaoke machine. Would you care to hear me sing? <laughs> uh... Man, it's already the third day of our trip. It's too bad we have to go home tomorrow. I'd totally stay longer if I could. But I can't complain. A lot of cool things happened while we were here. How could he be so full of energy? We were all up so late last night. Do we have a mission at the beach today? Nah, it's nothing like that. We just came here to have some fun. Do you understand what it means to have fun, I guess? Of course. Recreation is the refreshment of one's mind and body. Exactly! Well, you sure know a lot about us humans. All right, let's take one last dip before we leave. Uh, hold on, Junpei Kun. Is it okay for Igus to go in the ocean? Oh, I'm sure she's waterproof. What's wrong, Igus? It is best that we all engage in this activity together. An activity in which only one person derives enjoyment is not the optimal method to have fun. Ugh, do we have to? We should join them. Okay. Are you enjoying yourself? We've been quite busy during our time here, but it looks as if we can relax a bit today. I hope so. Hey, Akihiko-san, come on! It's your turn! My turn? What are they doing? <laughs> I'm glad to see everyone is having so much fun. 
I've already told you what time the ship will be arriving tomorrow, yes? I'll most likely head over to the port early, so don't be late. Okay, I'll let everyone know. We can get back down to business again once we're back at the door. Got it. Hey, Akihiko Senpai! This again? I guess we should go too. I guess wait! That's not what water gun means! Ah! Junpei kun is down! <laughs> Alright, here's our chance for an all out attack! I seriously can't take much more of this! You seem to be in great pain. You guys. Ah, shit, it's them. You mean those three? Wow, they're freaky. Shut up, let's go! Why do they always run and hide when I approach? They're like back alley rats. Beats me. Jin, give him the capsules. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pay you the same as... Hold up. This time, information will suffice. Your acquaintances have been busy lately. I'm referring to their activities on nights when the moon is full. They spent a great deal of time in the tower as well. Why did they take this burden upon themselves? <laughs> you do know, don't you? What you don't wish to say? Is it because they are your friends? No, I've got nothing to do with them. Then tell us. Wouldn't you agree these pills are more important than a bunch of strangers? Huh. <laughs> I don't know the details, but... Supposedly, if you destroy all those creatures, then the tower will disappear, and with it the Dark Hour. You mean... They intend to eliminate the Dark Hour? Why would they do such a thing? With the power they have... What? They wish to destroy the Tower of Demise as well? Tower of Demise? Who wouldn't want to take out that damn tower? Easy, Takaya. Yes. Yes. I can't go back. Not after what happened. I'll put you in a train.